I'm kind of just, and that leads me actually to my next question. Do you guys think girls that are involved in sex work deserve a good man? We'll start here and then work our way around. Hell yeah. I mean, if you're successful, <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. What about you? I don't okay. think like, a high quality man is going to go for somebody that does that. So does she deserve it, in your opinion? I don't think so. No? Okay. No. What about you? It really depends. How dare like, you? If she, like, you know, started and then quit and turned her life around, absolutely. But uh, if you're in your 30s and you're still going at it, I'm sorry. So you think yes if she leaves? Yeah, if she was young in her 20s and, you know, she made some mistakes, let her be. If she quit, she's a grown woman now and she put that in her past and she did her best to erase everything. I'm 31. Did you erase everything? Yeah. No, she's still on. So when you quit, you have to wait till the last subscriber stops subscribing. So I just really? I just stop posting and I'm just waiting for like the last dying person to like die out. Well, the one that converted to Christianity oh, or whatever. What's your name again? I forget some. She was on someone whatever. in the chat's gonna say it. Red hair chick. I forget yeah. her name. Uh, Educate me. Do so you think yes if they leave Castle? Will you take us to the Castle Room real quick? Nala, so, Nala, it's in the chat. Nala. Nala, Nala, okay. Do you think a girl that was involved in sex work uh, a, good man? a good man? I'm going to go with no. I feel like, you know, you have to prepare yourself for a good man to come into your life. And if you're involved in sex work, you are only going to be a detriment to that good man. So I'm not going to say that they, I mean, I think everyone deserves to have a good man, but you also have to position yourself for that good man to be able to, you know, and if you want a good man and you're involving yourself in sex work, it's it's an oxymoron. You heard that, Coco? I can get any man I want. I'm really not worried about that. But getting a man is not hard. I We're talking about getting can, a good man. I can get a good man with what I've learned and the things that I've done and the lessons that I've learned. I and know I think I at that point we just man. have to define what everybody's definition of good is. Ooh. I got a question for you, Coco. So you said, yes, a girl does deserve it if she leaves that industry. So let me ask you this. Let's say a guy used to do gay porn. Would Do you think... Would you take a guy seriously like that that used to do gay porn and decides, you know what, I'm not gay anymore, I'm heterosexual, I want a woman? Would I'm you a take him seriously? Change man. I would absolutely take him seriously. I'm not going to judge anybody on their sexuality. Yeah, I would take him seriously. No. Nope. There's no fucking way you would take that dude seriously. <laughs> what if he does a, like a relapse? Like he's, 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 he's straight for like a year and he says, fuck this shit. I'm bisexual. For, so for me to be like, oh, I can't take a man doing other stuff, that that's hypocritical to me. So you would world. do it to not come off as a hypocrite, despite the fact that that guy might not be your ideal man. A bisexual man would be my ideal man. You can be straight, you can be bisexual. If you're homosexual, you're obviously not into me. I believe that men only can be bisexual. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Also, I have a theory on this too. Yeah, like I don't believe that so, men can be bisexual so either. Can't. All right, I don't think men can be bisexual. And the reason why is because okay, so human beings uh, go by the path of least resistance, right? They want the most convenient way to do things, correct? Yes. Can we agree on that? Who is it easier to get sex from? Assuming you like both genders, getting sex from a man or getting sex from a woman? If you're a dude. If no, you're a dude. from a man. I have gay friends. A yeah, man. men are yeah. Crazy. How is it easier? To, is it easier to get laid if you were a bisexual man with a man or with a woman? With a man. With a man, right? Yeah, yeah. So, would it be fair to say that it's significantly harder to attract a woman as a man than it is the, to attract another man? Okay, I see where you're going. So, okay. why would a guy go through the paces to entertain, take out on a date, and do all this other shit for a female when a lot of the times guys just want sexual satisfaction? They'll just go to a dude. Mm. That's so a why? Good. That's why when guys say they're bisexual, I'm like, that's a lie because. Number one, it's way harder to attract a woman. And then on top of that, you being bisexual actually hurts you significantly with attracting women. Most women, if they know that you've been gay, done gay shit, they will never fuck with you. So you are effectively gay by what you're doing. What and also keep, keep in mind that when you're with that guy. Dealing with a dude is cheaper. It doesn't cost you as much money. It doesn't cost you as much time. It's not as cumbersome. Like, why would a dude ever deal with women if you got a sexual satisfaction from dudes? He would never talk to you guys, ever. Yeah. Ever. Like, would it make sense for him? I mean, just thinking practically, because men tend to be more rational with that shit. So, yeah, I mean, do you really think you would be able to get a bisexual guy and take him seriously and be able to have a date I've, with him and all that other stuff? Is, no. I've been with a bisexual guy. Well, how'd that end up? Where's he now? He's gone. He's God with damn. another woman. Our chemistry just didn't match. No mutual. Do, do you think a girl deserves a, a good man after she's done sex work? I feel like everybody deserves to have... A good life, be with a good partner. I yeah, I mean. What if, about pedophiles? 
Well, not pedophiles. I'm saying like everyone is given the opportunity <laughs> to be able to have a good partner, pick a good partner, get married, have kids, whatever they want to do. That's what you're put on this earth to do. But But do you think everyone actually deserves it though? Not everyone, but what I'm saying what I'm saying is with the sex worker part. I feel like if you've done something in your past, that's just like somebody that's on drugs and they, you know, turned their life around and now they have a business, they have a wife, they have kids. I don't feel like they, you know, didn't deserve a chance to turn their life around. I'm just saying that's, you know, I wouldn't feel like Merch. they don't deserve love because they did sex work with okay. somebody. So. All right. What about you? What do you think, Puerto Rico? No. Why not? Oh, shit. Oh. No. <laughs> I don't know because of what I said earlier, your value goes down. She mentioned success, but I don't think any high like value man cares about how much money oh, you're yeah. making. Okay, to her. What your success is. He just cares about not like his friends haven't seen you in all fours or something. Do you agree with that? Disagree with that? I disagree with that. Okay, why do you disagree? Her yeah. argument is basically a girl making, let's say she makes $100,000 a month making money, right? She's killing it on OnlyFans. Her being on all fours on the internet is embarrassing to her husband. Destroys any, like, it destroys everything. So that money is, is it yes. doesn't matter. But what do you, what's your take on that? My take is if you're married to this person that does this, then you don't care. Her argument is you won't even get to that point. I think even sex workers can find, like, a man that will fall in love But with is them. it their ideal man that they actually want? I don't think the man sometimes we're with is the ideal man and we're still with them. <laughs> like, there's people in relationships okay. that are not ideal. working. Okay, would it be still... fair to say, then, that, like, the ideal man has... And I want you guys to say yes if you agree. Would, you, would it be fair to say that the ideal man is dominant? Yes. Assertive? Yes. Masculine? Yes. 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 Isn't soft? Yes. Strong? <laughs> Bruh. Yes, stronger than me. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. He's educated, intelligent. Yeah? Okay. Okay. Would you say a majority of men have these traits or a minority of men have these traits all in one? Come on, Hylia. I've dealt with a lot of smart men, so I can't. Well, it was all the other things I mentioned, too, <laughs> not just intelligence. No, like. There's a lot of guys that are smart, but they're pussies. I'm talking about, I've... like, the full package. You dealt with smart guys in Hialeah? <laughs> Maybe they're not from Hialeah. <laughs> I'm about to say. No offense to Hialeah, but niggas, but hey, man. Pero. <laughs> I just believe that there's a person for that crazy sex worker. Like, All right, take us to Castle Club thing. So you think that there's somebody for everybody? Yes. Okay. Oh, God. But when you say you think everybody, there's somebody for everybody, you think that everybody is going to be their body? Like what they actually want? Why would you be with somebody if you don't want to be with their body? Know what I'm saying? Because no, you're saying there's somebody for everybody. Yeah. But the thing is, is that do you think that that somebody for that person, mm -hmm. the attraction is mutual? Like they would actually like each other? Yeah. Well, one party might like one, but the woman doesn't like him back, which is typically what it is. Then you're not supposed to be together. So, like, what I'm saying is, is that so a guy that's like hyper masculine that has his shit together, that's attractive, they're not going to wife up whores. I mean, it wouldn't be their first pick. No, they wouldn't. Okay. No, they're not. Why the fuck is a guy going to bust his ass, go to the gym, be attractive, do all this shit, and then wife up a whore? That's embarrassing. Right. They'll smash. They are. Mm -hmm. I guess. They are. And and, and, I, and I'll, I have a more extreme take on this. Like more whores on the actual, like, in the club. Sure. Uh, to me. Sure. Because at least those girls will not fuck for no money. Sure. Like, do you, that you, makes it better. Yeah. Yeah. No, the girls at the club have sex for no money. So you nothing. think it's, do you think it's better to have sex for money or for free? I think it's as a female, do you think it's better to have sex for money or for free? As a woman in general, do you think it's better Having to have sex, sex for money? Having sex with no money involved is great, no? Okay. But not for everyone sex. is willing to give up Pero... sex for it. I get it. No. <laughs> okay, so my stance on it is this. I don't think sex workers deserve a good man. I don't think sex workers even deserve a man. And the reason why is because... A woman that is a sex worker, in my take, is the equivalent to a man that's homeless. And I'll explain what I mean by this. So a man that's homeless can't wow. provide you a house, he can't provide you resources, he can't take care of you. Isn't that what women look for in a man? A protector, a provider, and a provisioner? Okay. A woman that's a sex worker can't really give you her heart and her emotions because she's a sex worker. She's had to share it with many other men, right? And that effectively fucks up her ability to be a good, dutiful wife to you. I look at women as tape. Okay, and what I mean Masagany. by this is, is that when you take a piece of tape, right, mm -hmm. and from the beginning, you take it off the, the roll, 
and you put it on the table, it's very sticky, right? The first time you attach, attach it on. But then when you pull it off and put it back on again, it's it becomes less, less and less sticky the more times you do that. Okay. When women are sex workers, they effectively have no stickiness left. They're able to jump from guy to guy, different surface to different surface, and they're no longer a good partner. And a piece of tape that isn't durable and can stand on the table is useless. Is useless. It can't hold what I call a relationship together. So when a woman effectively sells herself and she becomes this tape that's been used everywhere, the stickiness is gone, and that is her most important asset. <laughs> women must preserve their value. Okay. Women are tape. The more surfaces they've attached to, the more fucked up they become. So that's why I think women that are sex workers don't deserve good men. I don't even think they deserve men in general. You've effectively selected to say, you know what? Fuck it. My sexuality is for sale. And since your sexuality is for sale, so is your soul. And you can't fuck with a girl that doesn't have a soul. Wait, new analogy? Let's go, man. Yeah, I mean, yeah I've used that one. Uh, I've had it before, but I haven't used it in years. Uh, yeah, but, bro, but yeah, so that, that's, that's how I look at women is tape. <laughs> Relationships that rarely fall off when they meet the guy and they lose their virginity to get attacked. And that is the cornerstone rammed. of female value is her innocence and her purity because the more guys she fucks, right, the more her soul gets fucked out of her and then she's just not able to pair with you as a man. The more they're like, I can do better. And I genuinely think fear of missing out and this idea and concept of I can do better, it's, one, it's actually like a very negative thing that sets women back because they'll have a good man in front of them but they're yes. like, damn, I can do better. And when you think that you can do better, you continuously go back out in the market thinking that you're going to get a better deal. But the reality or is you you're not going to get worse. a better deal. <laughs> well, yeah, a lot of times it ends up you do worse <laughs> is what it is. So I'll turn it to you guys. I don't know if you guys agree, disagree. Yeah, she disagrees. Okay, that's yeah, fine. Yeah. I'm going to go back to YouTube. No faces. So, yeah, that's fine. Uh, why do you disagree, Coco? Because not all sex work has to be with another person. Like I said, you can do your solo stuff. Yeah. You don't have to be... You know, screwing another guy. So you're like, oh, Into my, please. losing value, losing value, using my look. Okay, but what if you didn't do it with another man? What if it was a toy? When you do it, whether it's with a man or with a toy, it's just a bad look in general. Your look, cookie's still out be, there, I guess. To be like, you don't deserve a man ever because you use the vibrator. like. Yeah, on camera. So, okay. Are you familiar? Okay, so when someone gets I, I married, I agree with you, but I don't. Yeah, you don't agree because it might hurt your feelings a little bit. When a woman walks feelings. down the aisle, right? What color is the dress that she's wearing? White. Purity. Uh, that purity, is purity, right? I did not want to wear a white dress. Why do women wear a white dress when they walk down the aisle? For purity to represent purity, purity. right? And then they're supposed to have sex on their wedding night, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. Courted that woman, dated that woman, got engaged to that woman, gave her a ring, promises her a life. Etc. This is all very expensive and time-consuming stuff. Would you agree? Yes. And in exchange, he's able to get her purity in the confinement of a relationship, right? But does she get his purity? Do women screen for promiscuity in men? <laughs> Do they? Do you care about a man's body count? Ooh. Can you please <laughs> answer the funny. question and stop being disingenuous? <laughs> like we're having a lo logically sound adult no. conversation i'm asking you these questions as an adult no i don't care okay. who fantastic you are aware that men care a lot about how many partners a woman has an overwhelming majority of one men absolutely care about a woman's body count just like an overwhelming majority of women care about a man's ability to provide resources men who are not insecure do not care about a woman's body count <laughs> okay so you think that's a insecurity let me ask you this then do you want a man to make more money than you your, your, your ideal man, hypothetically. It doesn't really matter. If you could pick your dream guy, would you prefer him to make more money than you, yes or no? No. You'd want a guy that makes less than you? Equal. Would you be okay with a guy that's shorter than you then? Yes, I've dated men shorter than me. How long did that last? Three years. <laughs> Do you want a man that's stronger than you? It doesn't have to be. So you'll take a guy that's physically inferior to you, smaller than you, and can't necessarily <laughs> fight off an attacker. <laughs> Why would I attract men who are like, people trying to fight me? I don't need that. If it happens by chance. Can we you live in Florida. I have my concealed. <laughs> okay. You can answer for everything. Yeah, the, the, the thing is, is that she just doesn't like the reality, so she's kind of trying to contort answers to fit the thing. No. Like, I know if, like, <laughs> what I she's mean, actually she's really... she's 33, no. so it's fine, man. Like, yeah, because yeah, no. yeah, you're, say, uh, you're saying that it's insecure for a man to care about Same a woman's shit. body count. Would it be, would it, okay, let's take your logic. What if I said women are insecure if they care about their man making more money than them? Why would they be what? 
Insecure? Yeah. That's a, Okay, fair. We're getting somewhere. So you think that's a stupid idea to call a woman insecure for caring about how much a man makes? You agree with me? That's stupid. I don't want to say it's stupid. I just don't think it's relevant. So I find it interesting how a woman isn't insecure for caring about how much money a man makes, but you're saying a man's insecure for caring about how much bodies Bodies. a woman has. Sex and money? It's not correlating with me. Yeah, because men and women aren't the same, and I'm giving you a functional equivalence. It's an analogy. Men and women aren't the same, so I can't tell you, well, men care about women's money. No, we don't. So i got to give you a functional equivalent. Women care about a man's status and money. Men care about a woman's promiscuity. That's just the truth in general. Not all the time. Genuinely, it's not all the time. If I lined up 100 dudes, 90 of them are going to care about their girl that they're going to take seriously sexual past. But let's let's be honest here, though. (laughs) Most guys don't want a a wife a whore, right? Mm -hmm. Let's be honest here. Define a whore. You. I haven't had had sex for money. You know people. I I haven't had sex for money, so I don't... You know people, right? That are whores, right? Yes, I do. There you go. So they don't want to wipe those girls. Let me ask you this, then. Because let's use your own logic, right? Let's use your own logic. We you don't said, know that yet. They're said, still married. Um, well, we know. If, if being a whore isn't that big of a deal, Forky's why didn't you just go all the way and fuck mm-hmm. on camera then? Because I don't want to. That's my personal preference. But uh, why don't you want to? Because that's my personal preference. No, but tell me, why is it your personal preference? <laughs> because I don't want to do that. Okay. But why not? If being a whore doesn't matter and body yeah. count doesn't matter, why not just fuck niggas on camera and run a bag up? Body count and being a whore on camera, those are two different things, my guy. Let's not do that. Oh, now, oh, so see, it's, what? so it's not so insecure now, is it? <laughs> so, so, so you're saying I'd be a whore on camera, but not in real life? No, not necessarily that. If you're a whore, and if you're going to be a whore on camera, do the damn thing. All right. I'm confused. So, like, on one hand, you're saying men are insecure if they care about a woman's body count, right? But then I said, well, women are very interested in a man's ability to acquire resources and protect and provide. Does that make them insecure? And you said no. I said, I agree with you. It doesn't make them insecure. It's a biological want and need from women to men to look for these things. So why is it insecure if I say it's a man's biological need to understand that his girl's not a whore? How's that insecure? Okay, so if he has a problem with whores and don't date a whore... Yes, but you were trying to say that that makes him insecure for not wanting to be with a whore. Okay. Maybe I said some things differently. An open whore, like a street walker? Okay, yes, I get that. But from my stance, from being on OnlyFans and only being solo, I don't count myself as a whore because I didn't go fuck a bunch of different men. It okay. was myself. So that's where my yeah, mind is Yeah, but whether going. you have sex with them or not, your purity is still tainted. And that's where I was going with the wedding dress analogy. A man had to work really hard to court you and get engaged, get engaged to you and marry you, right? And then he's, in his mind, this body is for me. This is my woman. So if there's videos of you out there fucking a dildo, well, guess what? That just makes him look like an idiot because... He spent a lifetime to attract you, and other dudes could see it for three ninety nine so a month. So why did he spend a lifetime? That's why they don't commit to you guys. Why would he spend that? <laughs> Thank you. You answered it yourself. Why the hell would he go through the process of court you, engage you, and marry you when he knows that you've done that? That's ex- precisely because my point. People still want to court me and marry me. People still want to do that with me. But guess what? You don't want them, right? Yeah, and you don't want them though. Yeah. So that tells you. Because women like you make this Sex excuse mode. all the time. Oh, well, I can get any man I want. I didn't say that. You literally yeah. said that earlier I, in response you to her. Did. Yes, you did. Yeah, you did. Right? Okay. You did. Fair. Come on, yeah. Coco. Fair. I'm a queen. Anyone that I want. I know, Coco. No, 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 no. Yeah. Translation. You, any, just anyone. Because I don't think you want them back. Because if you did, you would have no, had one no, of them. No, I don't think I can. If I can get anyone, I would have everyone. Okay. Do you know when you buy well. clothes from a store, right? They're brand new. They're on the shelf. They look beautiful. Then someone buys those clothes, they wear them, they go to Goodwill. That's what you have right now. Leftover men. For- everyone is leftover. So everyone's a virgin now. Well, you're reading in a context. analogy. Context <laughs> everyone's a virgin. Okay, moving on. <laughs> but to be honest, though, you don't want those men anyway. So it's like, I'll, I'll do it better. So, because you said that you can get any man that you want, right? Like, what if I told you I, I could get any girl that I count. want, right? But then you find out that I'm just whacking off to different girls on Pornhub every day. Would that count? No, no, no. I'm just asking you. Like, 
You say that you can get any guy that you want, and then I respond. I say, well, I could get any bitch I want. But then you find out that I'm literally just whacking off to different girls every day on Pornhub. That doesn't make sense. Thank you. It doesn't, right? Why does it not make sense? You're not actually getting the girl. You're just watching her. Yep. Trans. Fan fucking tastic. <laughs> you're not actually getting the guy. He just you just triggered my trap you. card. Because as a woman, like yo, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Oh. Uno, uno, uno. Because you don't get it. It's not a fucking brag as a female to sit there and say, I can get any guy I want. Every single one of you at this fucking table can go out on a date with a celebrity, okay? That's not a flex. It's only a flex when you're a woman if you can keep the fucking guy and get his last name. So until I see a ring on your fucking finger from a guy that you love, admire, and respect, and you willingly want to take his last name, you can't flex at all. Just like me, I can't sit here and say, well... I got a new bitch every day, but I'm whacking off to fucking new bitches on OnlyFans. It doesn't count because it doesn't take me skill to be able to do that. Just like it doesn't take skill for you to go on a date with a guy or have a guy give you attention. Women just exist and breathe. <laughs> and some dude's going to fucking talk to you, bro. Marry. There's no fucking skill set in being a female and getting men to talk to you. I hate when girls say dumb shit like that. Well, I can have any man I want. Shut the fuck up. Until you can actually get a guy <laughs> to take you seriously, give you a last name, and give you a fucking ring. I don't want to hear shit from no fucking I've woman at engaged. all. I've been engaged. And I called off the engagement. Oh, of course. I wonder why. I and wonder that was why. before OnlyFans. It Wait, doesn't man. matter unless you get your dream man and get him to take you fucking seriously. It doesn't matter. I don't give a fuck who engaged you. I don't give a fuck who dated you. I don't give a fuck what, who you fucked. Until you get a guy that is the man that you actually want to give you a ring. I don't want to hear nothing from none of y'all I females, bro. I haven't found him yet. I know. Okay. No. <laughs> There you go. Yeah, that's our point. Yeah, then shut up, bitch. Because this I is the thing: no one ever checks women on this dumb shit, ladies. You don't win the game until a guy gives you a ring that you actually want back. It doesn't count if you fuck a guy. It doesn't count if you date a guy. It doesn't count even if you fucking are seeing a guy that's a celebrity. How many of them do you want that actually wants you back and gives you a ring? Until you get that, shut the fuck up. It's not a flex to have niggas DM you. It's not a flex to have dudes fly you out. It's not a flex to fuck a celebrity. It's not, a, it's not even a flex to talk to one. You just said a second I ago, I can get any man I want. You just said a second ago, I can have any man I want, which I can go ahead and presume off of that, that you've gotten offers from other men, which is why you would make a comment like that. No. I'm not stupid. I know how you guys think, and I'm t- 10 steps ahead of y'all. Hey, come on, Coco. I know how women think and what it is, and you guys have an overinflated sense of self-worth, and you think, I'm getting attention from this guy. Well, getting attention You're from a guy right. and getting the last name from the guy are not the same thing at all you're absolutely right like i could whack off to a new bitch on the internet but that ain't a flex like a woman that says well i got niggas that want me who cares you you can literally be in a wheelchair <laughs> and some nigga will still talk to you that's not a flex <laughs> man true. or hey, it's on a yacht <laughs> what like have you seen how thirsty niggas oh, are I know like bro no, what I the hell no, I, I get we don't ever support abuse to women but the fact that he did, uh, did abuse you means that he wasn't like the right guy for you, right? That's why I left. 100%. So you chose wrong. Am I not allowed to make mistakes? No, no. I'm just telling you that that was not your ideal man anyway. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, th- I thought he was. He made some really fucked up things right. and choices.